Are we training like this on our own? We will be. But are we? Not all the time. Okay, so you came in to train with me last year. We set another level for yourself. We proved it with a heart rate monitor that it could be done. We accounted for it all. And we spent a year not doing that, but close. I mean, we, we were still trying hard, yeah. not taking that from you. How can we now leave duplicating this? If you join uh, David Kimberly Facebook, uh, what is it, Team DK, if you join that and you see another man your same age as numbers, how do you not look at it and go, he's on steroids, or uh, he's some freak, or uh, his watch is broken, or he's a flat out liar? How do you say, that man is older than me, I can do that? It's not about ability, I'm not saying what's your bench press, I'm not saying how many chin ups can you do, I'm saying can you keep your heart rate higher? And the answer is yes, you really have to you know, kick your own ass and push yourself harder. And you know, certain things I'll remember when I go back to New York, things you say, and I'll, I'll know when I, have, when I don't have a, a good day or a good rep or a set, um, and I'll try to you know, correct. But you know, you're your worst own enemy, so you'll constantly uh, cheat yourself. And uh, it's very hard to not to do to get these limits without you standing over control. Okay, when we get your watch working, some of your accountability is going to be the sweat and literally the pain. And I want you to ask yourself, if I just got pushed on my butt at the bar, or if a man walks up to me and wants to take the keys out of my hand, literally just going to walk up. I'm a grown man. I put my hand on yours, and you don't want my hand on yours. Can you make my hand go away? Pull back. Did we not just practice that? Yes. What was that? That was a bent over row. Yes. Are you kidding me? We practiced exactly this. Get your elbow that way. But I'm saying no. Can you get your elbow that way? <laughs> That's so real what we just did. And, and, and sometimes, you know, I watch this. I live in a, an apartment complex. We used to have some obnoxious people here. And I watched another grown man walk up to another grown man. This is two weeks ago. We're adults. We're not supposed to be fighting. But sometimes as an adult, you have to. You know? And I watched another grown man do this to another grown man. And I'll be damned if the guy underneath him did not want this guy to have control of his hand. It was very symbolic. It was owning this guy's close space. And it was very aggressive and it was done on purpose. And you know what? It led to a fist fight. It left the two men punching each other in the face. I cannot say that I didn't see it coming. I, the second I saw him do that, I went, uh-oh. And the reason why is no matter if you lift weights or not, neither one of these guys really lift weights. Uh, and they had a hard time hurting each other, which is why I didn't mind them fighting. Um, but you'd better be ready to defend yourself. You'd better be ready and have practiced getting your arm away. Or even some of it's, it's chest press from here to here. I'm strong from here to here. Oh, and by the way, how many times can I go from here to here? Am I going to punch out in the first 20 seconds? Or do I got three minutes in me? Part of the shoulder training is, is punch out. There's three minutes on there of punching out. I, I count them as rounds. Very symbolic to the fight I saw two weeks ago, some of the personal experiences we've shared where you get yourself in a position and, you know, as a man, you're going to defend yourself anyway. Wouldn't it be nice to defend yourself successfully? Oh, good? Good. All right.